Hi there, I'm Adrian Salisbury and this is SLR Coaching. In this video, I just want to very simply show you how I put this together for my daughter as a Christmas present. Let's jump in and have a look. So my daughter recently had a tattoo done, which was a little bit controversial, um, but she hasn't just had some bit of art put on her. Um, she's had a tattoo done that was very significant to her. If you've ever heard the starfish story um, of the little boy who's standing there with a beach full of starfish and he's trying to throw them back to save them and someone says, but you can't save them all. But the boy says, but I'll save that one. And my daughter loves that, loves that story. She's very much um, lives like that. She does, uh, she works for a charity that help the homeless. Um, she's a fantastic kid and she wanted this starfish put on her foot. And so as you can see on here, what I've done, I just took a photo last night without her really knowing why. Um, so I've brought this now into Lightroom and what I've done is I've applied a filter. I've said to you before about presets, um, flp.co. I've downloaded, these are all free, Rizzle Dizzle, and it straight away transforms that photo. Um, now I've just played with it a little bit more and I've turned it into that. So what did I do? I started there, I increased this vignette, put a vignette around it, I put some grain on, and actually thickened up the size of the grain as well. I took this brush here with um, sharpness right up on full to really overdo it, to make this stand out. And I think we just push that clarity as well. So that's really making that starfish stand out and everything just um, pull back a bit other than that. Uh, is that about there? Yeah, it's not bad, that's getting pretty close. Okay, so what we did then is to, I exported that out as a TIFF and took it into Photoshop. Now I could just export it straight out of here into Photoshop. Um, let's do that again. So if I click Edit In and Photoshop, because I'm getting the Creative Suite by Lightroom and Photoshop together, you can, they work together so well. Um, it's sending it out. There's a sneak peek of what I've already done. I didn't want to waste your time by me fumbling my way through. I thought I'll get it first. And um, right, so there it is, that's my starting shot. Um, now what I'm going to do with this, I've used these in the past. It's, it's a block of MDF wood painted black on the edges. And what they do is they actually stick on here um, like a big sticker. So I'm gonna, when I peel the top of this off, it's a sticky surface and I can put my photo straight onto it. And then all I'll do is trim the edges up and we're good to go. So it's, it's, it's a bit of a cheap version of doing this. Uh, the alternative would be getting some spray adhesive onto a board like this and then putting the photo on. You'll get exactly the same result. Um, this I just happen to still have sitting around. I did a batch of these once before. Um, someone's wedding, my wife for a Christmas present, different things, and I saw it there and I thought, yes, that's perfect. Now, I didn't want to do a photo onto wood on this because I do need text that it does need to be nice and clear uh, so that you can read that. And I just didn't want to be trying to rub paper off, getting scratches, it's gonna just screw the whole thing up. So, starting image comes in like this, and then what I did is I went off to Google, I found this starfish story, I brought that into uh, a text editor just so I can take a chunk of that and then I created a layer over the top. Let's show you it in this one. So there's my photo, I've dropped a layer in over the top. What you can do in this is to um, select an area like a boundary that you want it to fit into. Um, I just very simply space that across so that there's no text over the actual starfish itself. And then I made a difference to that one, which is really the punchline of the whole thing. I've just increased the font size down there. 
Um, I've deliberately gone for this very light font. Um, I know my daughter likes kind of light and pretty. And um, I wanted it so that from a distance you can see the foot and the, the starfish, but as you get closer, you could actually read the story. Um, so I think that works well. So what I'm gonna do now is to print this out. I know that this is A4, I've measured this up, and um, I know that this, what, I've, what I did here in this document is I opened up a new document in Photoshop to A4, then I dropped my photo onto it and resized it. I always kind of work that way around because I know that my base image that I'm working on is an A4 document. So let's print this out and let's have a look at how we can apply this onto the block here. Okay, so there's my printed out photo. It looks really nice. And all I'm going to do then is apply it on top of this board. So as I say, I've, peeled, I've taken the packaging off and all I do is to peel this back. But what I tend to do is just peel enough to get me started. So that is a sticky surface. And then I'm going to line this up so if I can, because once that's down, I can't really move it. So if I line that up from the bottom, and I can just feel I've got a slight lip, it's deliberately just over A4, so that it allows me a bit of a lip, a bit of room for error as well. Um, don't really want my fingers all over it. In theory, if my... Right. And then I start from the top. And as I peel this back, that applies on there, easy as that. And there she is, mounted on a board. Now, as you can see, um, there's a bit of a lip around the edge of here. So quite simply, all I'm gonna do is to run my scalpel down the edge of here. Not quite. This is, as I say, not really a craft as such, but I was making it. I've got my studio set up because I'm partway doing through, partway through doing some other tutorials at the minute. Glass, photos onto glass, photo onto wood, stuff's all around me. But I'm just doing this because it's a couple of days away from Christmas and I've done this for my daughter and I figured, hey, the studio's set up why not record it anyway? It's just another way of transferring a photo onto wood. So there it is, the finished result. Very nice, clean, neat. So it's already got black edges that have been painted on. There is a place for a hook on the back. <laughs> this is a nice, simple way of a quality result. So that will just hang on my daughter's wall and I know full well she will be delighted with that. So there it is, the finished product. I'm very pleased with that. If only the photo onto wood came out as clear as that, eh? <laughs> right, I'll see you soon.